lady, ladies and gentlemen, little video by AJ Styles. So, are the people done coming in their pants now for AJ Styles or whatever? Has that, you know, died down a little bit? All the indie marks. Yeah, I know AJ Styles. My life is complete now. I saw AJ New Japan. Is that like done with now or whatever? Um, here's a little bit of that truth about AJ Styles, boy. That truth train is a coming. A choo choo choo. Um, AJ Styles is very, very, very overrated. Not going to say that the guy completely sucks overall there. Does suck in some aspects, but basically the guy is very overrated. Now, indie fans are trying to act like if AJ Styles belongs to them, they're acting like if WWE fans have never heard of AJ Styles, which is fucking ridiculous. We've seen AJ Styles wrestle in TNA for 10 years. Get a fucking life. Get over yourselves. You watched a couple shows of AJ Styles in Japan. Most of us didn't see those shows. Good for you. Good for you. Ask your mother to buy you a medal or something. Maybe your moms can get you a little... You know, a little trophy for the from Toys R Us. You can shove that up your ass and brag about indie wrestling all fucking night. But we all know AJ Styles. Quit acting like you're fucking big shots because AJ Styles is going to WWE. Get a grip and get a fucking life. Um, AJ Styles is a decent wrestler you hear people overrating the fucking shit out of AJ Styles he's the best what the best at sucking Jeff Jarrett's penis maybe oh he's the best in the world give me a goddamn break AJ Styles can do flips shit like this he can do the Pele or whatever but the guy is like five foot nine Five foot eight, maybe. A guy that weighs a hundred pounds like AJ Styles. He is expected to be acrobatic or whatever. You know, if you're not a real man like a Hogan or a Scott Steiner, something like this, then you have to be a, a good technical or high flyer, something like that. Something to make up for the fact that he's just a vanilla midget. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what AJ is. He's a vanilla midget. He can do a Pele and do a flip, but all the other vanilla midgets can do the same thing. They can all do the same thing because they're 100 pound vanilla midgets. You know, AJ does a flip. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? He's not better than a Steve Austin or any guy like that. Fuck no. So what if he can do a little flip? You know, to say that the guy is the best is fucking ridiculous. The man obviously is not the best. We've seen him wrestle in TNA. And during that time, the man botched a lot botches his finisher all the time and injures people left and right. If he was such a great wrestler, he wouldn't be dangerous like that in the ring. The guy does a flip, so what? All the fucking indie midget jobbers can all do the same shit that he does and basically they all do the same shit. Same moves, same everything, so... To say that the guy is the best is fucking ridiculous. He's a decent midget wrestler that wrestles the same way that all the other midgets wrestle. I am not impressed 
with AJ Styles' in-ring ability never have been. And the reason that he won a bunch of belts in TNA is because there was nobody there. Absolutely nobody. It was Jarrett, R-Truth, AJ Styles. They just passed the belt along between those guys. Not because AJ was good. You know, the TNA belt never meant a goddamn thing. Him winning that belt didn't mean jack fucking shit, okay? So when it comes to wrestling, he's decent, he's okay. You know, you can say he's good, <laughs> you know, but he's not great. Fuck no, he's not great. Doesn't impress me. He's not one of the greats, not the best currently, certainly not one of the best of all time, not even close. You people overrate the fucking shit out of AJ Styles. Now, when it comes to promos, AJ Styles sucks. He completely fucking sucks. In TNA, 10 years in TNA, the man never cut one good promo. Never. Never cut one good promo in TNA wrestling. Not one. On the mic, the man is atrocious. He looks like a fucking goof. He sounds like a goof on the mic. Remember AJ Styles with Ric Flair as his manager? That shit was horrible. Completely horrible. You can see right there that AJ Styles was a fucking goofball. And that he completely sucked on the mic. AJ Styles has no charisma. Zero charisma. Zero presence. Fuck all. He, this guy doesn't have star power like a Hogan or hell a Daniel Bryan or a CM Punk. The guy has nothing like that. The guy's a fucking goofball on the mic with zero charisma. How can he be the best and not even be able to talk? Not even have an ounce of charisma. The best? My fucking ass. And his look, you guys want to talk about looks, the man looks gay, that's what he looks like. With his cheap ass emo haircut, I'm a tough guy. I'm a tough guy from Georgia, wherever the fuck he's from. You know, the guy looks like I could beat him up with one punch or something. You think I'm impressed with him? You think that AJ Styles should come in and win the Royal Rumble? How fucking stupid are you people? A vanilla midget with zero charisma is going to come in and win the Rumble. Bitch, please. Bitch, fucking please. Take your fucking medication. The man is decent in the ring. Apart from that, he has nothing. No mic skills. No charisma. Looks gay as fuck. Doesn't look believable at all. At all. So, yeah, just letting you guys know there that AJ Styles isn't a god. He isn't great. Far from it. And you guys are overrating the shit out of this guy. And you've been doing that for 10 years. Let the guy cut a good promo, then I'll be impressed with him. Have him have great matches in WWE against real opponents, and then I'll be impressed. Because all I've seen him do is lick the fucking ass crack of Jeff Jarrett in order to win the 30-plus belts that he never deserved there. Until next time, peace!